Hi guys, I'm Helen from Getaway Outdoors in Balcatta and I'm here at the beautiful Woolcobbet Station. I've just bumped into Mitch Palmer, who you all may know, um, so I thought I'd hit him up and get him to show you some ballooning. You ready, Mitch? Hell yeah, let's get into it. Cool. Hey, g'day guys. Yeah, this is our standard ballooning rig. Got a treble on the bottom, uh, one J-hook, two J-hook, three J-hook, section of wire, and a skirt on top. Then we run it up to a swivel. Above the swivel, I like to put a little green rubber stopper. Just stops your uh, solid ring sliding up and down your line. And yeah, that's a basic, reliable go-to ballooning rig for mackerel, tuna, cobia. Then we get into the um, balloon. For balloons, I like to run 10 kilo mono with a rubber stopper, just a bit of garden hose from Bunnings. Just but, um, basically makes it easy to take on, easy to take off, just your gas without having time to run. A bit of trial and error when you're filling up a balloon. You never know if it's going to be perfect for your bait weight the first time around. Get the balloon in the air. Currently got a, this is a balloon from yesterday. So my balloon length is all ready to go and all tied up. Bit of spool down here, so I can just pop it off. Wrap it up nicely in my hand so we don't lose the balloon prematurely. Just tie it onto this solid ring here. Any knots good. Don't know knots, tie lots in this instance. Pull it through. Should we tag in? Keep the rubbish. There we go. That's a standard setup ready to go. And now we've got to check our helium weight. Find the easiest way to do that because you just get your rod. You just dump it on the ground and you see what the bait does. See how the bait isn't moving too much? To me, that says there's not that much gas in there, so I'm going to add a touch more. Back in. When pulling them in, especially in places like this, I like to just move around as I'm doing it. Just prevent tangles, you're tripping over the line, and you're getting caught up in a rock. Helium's not cheap and we don't really want to lose balloons all day, it's not good for the environment. Rubber stopper, quick change, quick fill up, quick put back down. Oh, got a balloon back in the air. And now to walk out, go put it out. Check it again. Oh, see how it's trying to bounce around a bit more? To me, that shows that it's. There we go. Enough. Gas in it and make it skip, make it bounce. When it goes to uh, put the balloon out, I prefer the. Everyone does it a little bit differently, but I prefer just letting out all my mono. See, if you have a look out there, the balloon's going out, but baits in my hand, mono's going out. Just creates a nice V, keeps your balloon up high, keeps your line up high for the first 100, 200 metres, so you can get it out there fast. That's what it's all about. Bait in the water, and wait for that strike. So then when it's ready, see it's my FG just left the top of my rod. Grab the bait. Rod! same time, take my hand off that spoon, and 
help you guys. Not switch them. I use the front bits and get her out of distance and hope for the best. Spot's a bit different. I find from about 280 to 350 is where we get most of our strikes here. Um, when your balloon's set, you still got that big bow in your line. And when you did it, all I might do is just a couple of hard cranks. I probably can't really see, but out there on the balloon, the balloon's just run down the line, give a couple of whacks. Drag off, whatever you're comfortable with. I like a little bit of pressure. Well, it looks to self set. Ratchet on. Put her in. And then what you should do before you put a blue out is have a look around the spot you're fishing. Figure out where you're going to gaff fish. It's no point hooking up to a Mac or a tuna or a cobia and have nowhere to gaff them. Here yeah, we're quite lucky, we've got a nice deep ledge. Drop straight off with a little reef chunk on the bottom. Uh, we've got a couple of spots around here where it's doable. See if we can be up on nice high ground and just go on the bottom of the ledge. When the sets come through, we can wash them up onto that ledge as well. So we've got plenty of options here. Um, fishing's been really slow the past few days. Hopefully the water's cleaned up enough that we can come from that cyclone and fish around the cheek. Working the bait in, um, don't have enough wind for it to want to stay out there, so you know, a little bit more gas position, I reckon. You just give a few good cranks, skip across the surface, get back a little bit, then you pause, wait, I'd count to three or four, and then give it another few windings. Work your bait, effective way to. Um, Baby fish, more in dirty water, the fish can't see you, mate. They hear the croach, they come up for a look. Right through the phone, haven't been much getting more around the station at all the past few days, so. strike in two and a half days. Full aerial, some iris on it. And yeah, put bait off the hook, just take a hook. Kind of depressing, but that's vicious. Hey, 
that's absolutely devastating. Come through at a million miles an hour and wrote that bait off. Clean slice straight through it. Somehow missed all the hooks, messed up the rig. Oh well, time to rebait, put a fresh one out, I guess. Probably going to have a look. Yeah. 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 Yeah.